Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for this video because today's video is going to be a haul. I know what you're thinking, I am on a no buy and I'd like to point out that I didn't actually spend any of my money on any of these items. And these are all things that over the past few weeks Andrew's actually picked up for me, which I really truly appreciate him for and I think he's amazing that he would spend his money on me. I promise I'm not going to get too soppy, so I'm just going to dig in and show you the things that he picked up. So the first thing that I got was the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey Palette. I do have the Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette and I have shown this in a video before. So you guys have known that I've had this but I wanted to include it in this haul because it was part of the stuff that Andrew started picking up for me. Some other things that he got were the, I got the Body Shop Pumpkin Vanilla, Vanilla Pumpkin sorry line. I got the, this is the hand cream. I also got the uh, shower gel and the body butter and it smells really really good. It smells like It kind of smells like pumpkin cocoa butter, if you could imagine that, just like, you know, the typical cocoa butter scent, but then put in a little bit of pumpkin. That's what it smells like. One thing that I was really excited to receive was the Marc Jacobs Iconic. This one is in Editorial, and the reason that I asked for this one was because it was the only one that really caught my attention, and I've never had any prestige designer makeup, so... Um, it does come with the eye primer. That's the number 32 Invisible of the Undercover Coconut Eye Primer. And the first one that we got was actually broken on the inside and I was really, really upset. But this one survived the journey and it just looks like that on the inside. So you've got the slip there and the mirror there. And this is what it looks like. It's a perfect cool toned sort of autumn fall eyeshadow palette. In here we have one, two, three mattes and four shimmer. Um, I'm not going to swatch it because I wanted to um, do a swatch video of this. I'll do a swatch and a demonstration of how I've put it on my eyes and possibly a review as well. Let you know if it's worth the money because Marc Jacobs is expensive so and another thing he picked up was some nail polishes these are all Essie polishes I'll show you the ones that I got I got this sort of deep wine shade this one is in soulmate soul is spelled s-o-l-e there is this really really deep navy blue and this one is in bobbing for baubles there's a grey brownie taupe shade in chin chili there's this olive khaki green in exposed and this one's sort of like a shimmer like a metallic shimmer and this is from the fall collection this one's in girly grunge there's this coral which is in chubby cheeks a sandy beige color in sand tropez and this one this is full of baby pink hot pink and blue glitters and then underneath that is like a it's not holographic, but it's really, really fine silver shimmer. It's so fine that it almost makes up the base of the nail polish, but not quite. And the last one is another one with really fine shimmer in. And this one is in Birthday Girl, and I love this. It's beautiful. It's kind of like a baby pink with pink and gold, really fine shimmer. Really, really fine shimmer. like. It's monochromatic, it's not duochrome or anything, but it's just, it catches the light so it looks sparkly and I really, really like that. And the last thing that I wanted to show you wasn't actually picked up by Andrew, I picked this up and again I didn't break my no buy, I actually needed this. This is the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer and I am in the shade Light One Chantilly. And the reason I needed this is because my Urban Decay one is pretty much out and I didn't have another under eye concealer. And the reason I picked this one was because I was looking at getting the Tarte Shape Tape and to me it just seemed really, really expensive. Either way I acquired it. I could buy it through QVC and it would cost me an arm and a leg or I could buy it through Tarte and it would cost an average amount but the, by the time you add on shipping and customs that would have cost me an arm and a leg. So I decided not to do that 
Instead, I went with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, and I, I'm wearing it today and I really enjoy it. It's a lot thicker than the Urban Decay, so it will take some getting used to. But I, I think I really like it. I really enjoy the fact that it has slightly more coverage than the Urban Decay one. And it's slightly more resistant to creasing on my under eyes. So I'm enjoying it so far. And when I bought that, they threw in these. This is the Eve Lom Morning Time Cleanser. It's just a sachet sample. And I've got two of those. They're exactly the same. And that was everything in this mini haul. It was a really short one. I just wanted to show you some of the things that I've accumulated over the past few weeks. Again, thank you to Andrew. I know he'll probably watch this at some point. So thank you and just know that I really appreciate you. And for everyone else who's watching this and is thinking, oh, that's way too soppy. I'm really sorry. I'll stop now. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.